All right, we are back after a few weeks away. Uh, <coughs> I was traveling for Dallas, and then we had GP Indy. Um, so this is my first weekend back. Um, Dallas didn't go bad. I could have gone a lot better. We ended up top 64. Um, two play mistakes ended up costing me. Uh, could have been in top 32 or top 16, possibly even top 8 if I didn't make those play mistakes. But, you know, you learn and you get better. Um and then Indy didn't go very well at all. <laughs> we went four and three. Uh, my team did very well. Uh, I ended up going, I think, four and three in our matches or three and four or something. It, did, it wasn't great. I uh, ended up losing quite a bit to top decks of my own. So um, we are back here with Five Color Urza. I am uh, playing. I've been messing around this list a bit. I tried out a couple different versions. Um, I tried out Stoneforge quite a bit. Was not a fan, honestly. Every time I tried it out, it just felt like it was out of place. Um, so this version here, I've got a link up in Stream Decker ready to go for you guys. Um, we're on the Shocks, our Breeding Pool, um, Steam Vents, and Watery Grave. We've got one Inventor Sphere, two Spire of Industry. I've got one Snow Covered Mountain and one Swamp. I've got four Islands, then we've got four Deltas and four Tarns. Um, possibly I should have a... Uh, snow covered plains in here over one of the spire of industries and i possibly should try to fit in a, a hollowed fountain but we're going to try out this version uh, with it um we've got four baubles four moxes one welding jar two galv blast two stars one spell bomb one pithing needle one pyrite four labes three engineers four foundries two ichor wellsprings two sword of the meeks two tefries one in steering bridge four urzas and two words now um this ichor wellspring was the myth um mystic forge i ended up finding myself really uh i don't know when the card was just at its high it was just absolutely fantastic but um, a lot of times I'd end up not being able to bring it back with Engineer, or it would cost so much to war for it. So I ended up swapping that for an Icar Wellspring. They kind of fulfill a similar thing, generating that value for yourself. Um, and then a lot of times um, I found that it was bricking too, not being able to cast some of these colored spells off the top of the deck. Uh, over in the sideboard, there was originally three Ceremonious Projections. Um, a couple friends of mine uh, recommended uh, Disdainful Stroke and Negate over it um at the indie and uh, i found that it was actually just a good upgrade i um i know that ceremony projection being one mana is awesome but uh right now i just found myself wanting to really just stop some of these big payoffs so we're on two disdainful strokes one negate two pushes two thought seeds, two brutalities two tesseras three trophies and one damping sphere um Debatably, this Nil spell bomb should be getting trimmed or moved to the side. Um, I'm finding that the graveyard hate's just not as needed anymore, but we'll see how we do. Next week, I'll be good to go for the stream as well. I have, uh, unless, I, I have the MCQ on Saturday for sure. My friend, my team is talking about whether or not we want to go to the IQ. The IQ is like three and a half hours away though, so I don't know if I really want to travel that much uh, after coming back from the MCQ. Got one mana, maybe two. We'd have to hit a land, the extra draw here. We're kinda, I'm gonna ship this. All right, this is better. Let's keep this. I'm going to ditch the bobble because I want to keep that artifact count high. And if I keep the wellspring, I can cast it on turn two or cast this engineer in turn two. Yeah, another wellspring. This is all the draw power. Imagine that's a goodbye to my engineer. Sadness overwhelming. All right, um, let's actually just run out this wellspring. I kind of ran out the delta so they didn't get to see as much cards, but I might want to grab a specific fetch with that later on. So, I mean, a specific shock with that. So. Been watching Eli play this deck a lot. He had a pretty sick version with um, 
Bant and was using Utopia Sprawl. Uh, pretty nice. I didn't do as well as he did with it, but it's an interesting build, that's for sure. Opponent just doesn't really want us to have anything. It's pretty rude. Alright, let's... Let's fetch, and let's turn that, drop out this Tefri, and we'll return the lead. Okay, multiple lanes, we're just going to keep drawing cards, it's fine, the deck will figure its way out. I did book my uh, plane ticket for... SCG Atlanta, so I'm going to be going to that. It's pretty exciting. Three one ones, you got it. Tokens, tokens, tokens. Let's draw some cards. Sword is nice. It's one part of the combo. Engineer. Give us the other part. All right, we'll pass it over. If the engineer gets to stick around, we will have our combo online. Goodbye, Teferi. And Engineer, come on, draw power. on a two turn clock doing that. All right, well, next turn we get to war and get it online, hopefully. So long as they don't have another thought seize or another inquisition, we should be okay. So, or we just draw it. No big deal. I'm going to shop this here. I'm just going to pass. Two good dudes. Go up to eight.
and Kaya's Guile. That's rude. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's a that's a bit of a beating. All right, so there goes our sword. I'm not gonna block here. Not the end of the world. We do have a war still. token and then leave the ability for us to respond to something on the stack in case they have another legion's landing all right i guess another kai's guile <laughs> all right they're down to one card Sure. Block that, double block, double block. Empty out their board, they'll gain a ton of life. Is just to pass it. Let's swing four of them at Soren. The rest of them at Felby. After they crack their windswept. Lingering spirits. 
Unless they've got like, I don't know, two more guys. Kaya's Guile. I can't imagine they're going to get out of this very easily. They have to have like six mana. Chances they're on a surgical main board. Chances aren't high, but I guess I don't want to risk it. We have five creatures, 10, 11, 12. So I, I guess we pass one more turn and then next turn we can kill them. Or are they just swing everything this turn? Nah, we'll just pass it. an extra turn. I got a godless shrine. I will. All right, they've got four, five, six, seven, eight. Block that. So the rest, they die. Okay, works for me. Axes. Yeah. All right. So I like the idea of negate here. Collective seems good. Seems rip up some cards out of their hand. Not sure if I want the trophies. Probably better to have them than not. Right. Could be a liability otherwise. Trim the pith thing. The spell bomb. I think I'll trim the Galv Blast as well. Is Teferi great right here? I don't think Welding Jar is very good. I think I'll trim one Teferi. Am I grinding against them, really? I guess I'm really not, right? I guess we'll keep the Pithing Needle. Let's try that.
pretty cool. If we draw the sword, we got to turn three kill, right? I imagine we're not going to be able to keep most of this hand. There goes our mox. I'm going to keep the bauble around because I want to be able to tap for black mana or white mana for this foundry. Surprised I didn't take the foundry. That must mean they have a way to deal with it, right? Like another disruption? Yeah, that'll, that'll work. Well, I guess at this point we're not really in a big rush. Just pass it over. I'm just gonna kill the planeswalkers. I'm sure it'll be fine. You know, making one one urs the tokens. I guess it'll be a two two. This is one of those occasions where I was talking about that hollowed fountain. <laughs> Three one one. It's you know. All right, we'll grab a steam vents, and we won't crack this bobble. I could bounce one of them, let Teferi die. If they have an intangible virtue, they'd kill it either way. I guess the extra draw is all I really care about right now. We gotta leave, so I don't really care about uh, keeping this because we'll have it back online. They're gonna have virtue next turn. Leave into the gate. Okay. I think I'm just gonna hold up the gate for that virtue. Keep the clock down. Do I want to run out the spell bomb? We can take out that Oriok jam again, but. We realistically wouldn't be activated because we wanted to get anyway, so we're just going to draw another card. Can we play a sweet deck? What deck are you thinking, Big Monkey? Oh, the Niv Mizzet piles. Those, these things are like pretty sweet. It does seem like a big pile. Um, the deck actually, uh, I lost to the deck because it just like casts Niv Mizzet, gets insane value, and then just crushes me. I don't mind playing that if. 
That is what you guys would want to see. I do want to finish out the league with five color Urza, but we can uh, not play the breed shift. I can play that instead if that's what you're looking for. They're going to do that to us. Get nothing. Take that out. Sure. Your current Glon life's beating Urza. It shouldn't be that big of a deal to beat Urza. A bunch of decks have like great ways to deal with it. Let's flip it off the top. What did we get? Ensnaring bridge. A little awkward. Let's swing first. We'll be able to attack for one more turn, but then after that we'll have them locked down. I don't know, like, Stony Silence is, like, really good against Urza, and so is, like... Um... So is, like, Collector Oof. There, people are running so much Cyborg hate right now, and, like... You can fight against Urza with having, like, good removal, good hand disruption good artifact lockdown or even like graveyard hate to stop from cobbling off it the deck does grind really well though that's why it's one of my favorite decks right now engineer is sweet We just grab the combo because once we draw trophy, we just win. Or do we want to grab? Yeah, I think that's what we want to do. We'll just throw the combo there, we'll hit them for one. Yeah, I would agree. I think it is what uh, the best deck in modern right now. I have a hard time beating it, uh, and as far as like a, a deck that I enjoy playing. No more attacks. I am a big fan of Great Creator and Tron right now. Um, if I'm on, if you're playing Tron and you're not playing Great Creator, I feel like that's a pretty big mistake because right now Great Creator can just shut down uh, part of uh, Urza Lock. So it's pretty sweet, and then you can just go fetch up all the answers you're looking for. So yeah, and it's uh, it's great in the mirror. You can uh, you can liquid metal. You can do the lattice lock. I don't know if I devote as much of the sideboard to the uh, wish packet. You know, at, at one point I was on like, oh I don't know. Let's see if they lock here. Um, you know, at one point I was devoting like ten cards to the side, and I might be down to like eight. Um, but I haven't felt great about. Uh, playing it. Oh, they're gonna stop our engineer. Okay. Um, I should have wheeled with Urza. Um, yeah, I feel like if you're if you're not playing, uh, if you're playing Tron, not playing Great Card, it's just it's just a bad call. So overall, so. Yeah, if you want to just like purely just the absolute best cards i think you can probably go down to like five um it's kind of rough but you can definitely make that happen
bridge, trinosphere, lattice. Yeah, if you, I mean, if you don't think you need graver, hey, you can, you know, probably just skip the relic. Pithing needle's pretty good. Yeah, I think Weather of the Storm is pretty good, and if you are in a format that has a lot of burn, you should be on that card for sure, possibly two. Um, it just comes down sooner, and it usually gets you, like, nine life, right? Like, it's at least getting you six, but realistically, a lot of the times you're casting it, you're getting, like, nine. So it's a really strong card. Um, my list right now for it isn't really anything special. There's what we're looking for. Yeah, I, it's not anything special. I uh, think I'm pretty much just on a pretty stock list right now. I can see if I can pull one up for you. I was playing around with a couple of different versions. I was trying a version without, um, without it either. Without, uh, without Great Creator, and it just felt wrong. Because I was on like multiple world breakers. I'm not going for anything fancy right now. I'm just going to make a ton of tokens and kill them on next turn. You know, it's funny that uh, I always joke about the fact that I play a lot of Tron, right? Because I, I do play a lot of Tron uh, in the local area, local tournaments. But we were uh, my team and I were traveling, and we were talking about how anytime I've placed well in a Star City tournament, it has not been with Tron. It has been with Scape Shift and various versions of Scape Shift. <laughs> so it's actually kind of like sad. Like the deck that I like am known for online, I play for, um, I play a ton online, has nothing to do with my current uh, Star City career. <laughs> Actually, they can block two. If they have two, let's get two more. So in case they have a couple of removal spells. All right, that should be enough. Because we can swing with words, you know, with uh, Urza and Engineer as well. Starting off strong. Mm -hmm. Good with this. A little land light, but the opal definitely makes up for it. Mm-hmm. 
Okay. We've got one, two pieces of our combo. It's a noble. It's the deadest noble I've ever met. We'll save our gal blast, right? Do we run out? We'd have to tap out. No, we don't have to tap out because we'll have Urza and we can tap it and filter into the lab. So that'll be good. Kill Noble. They'd only have one pump spell if we do that. Doesn't seem bad because they have the Misty, they can crack it, they have to activate the Ink Moth. Yeah, you know what? Let's go a little crazy. Let's just kill this right now. We'll be able to tap our Construct, sack the Lab and generate a, t a blocker as well if we need it. Make some user pendle haven, but I think that's fine. Let's hit him good. We just have to stay alive on our turn, we'll combo off here. I found that most players will not concede to you when you're comboing off. They simply do not care. Which is like kind of annoying because we waste a bunch of time. For like both parties. But. Clicking. Click, 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 click. So, how have you guys been? I 
who I went to a Ren Fair yesterday, dressed up with a kilt. It was absolutely fantastic for the Shamrocks and Shenanigans Festival. If you guys have never gone to a Renaissance Fair, I cannot recommend it enough. Go with a great group of friends, have go there for a good time. They have this thing called the Feast of Fantasy for the one I go to, where you get like three hours of unlimited food and drinks. Oh my gosh, absolute blast. Okay. We're just searching for a uh, removal spell for that spell sky. And then we can... Uh, Swing with our twenty-seven, twenty-seven. Ah, there we go. That'll do. Yeah, and paper is so much better. And paper years ago, I would like to gain one billion life. Are you okay with this? I think we're bringing all that in. I don't need that. I think I'm going to keep the pithing needle. Don't need either of the well springs. I think we can go down to one sword. Teferi, although let us win there, I think is a card I'm willing to cut. I just want to be able to just basically destroy every single thing they play. Um, what else can we cut here, though? I guess a star. We're bringing in a lot of multicolored stuff, so that makes me worried. I'm going to trim one where I want that was too. That's sweet. I'm always curious. Like, those fairs have to make good money, right? Like, the one that's in Michigan only runs for, um, like, a couple, like, a couple months out of the year. But they always seem to have so much going on. And all the vendors are there. Um, the comedic groups are there. And they're kind of in the middle of nowhere, so... <laughs> yeah, you get three hundred pound dads dressed up as knights. Yeah, there's. I gotta say though, there's a lot of people that dress up in like really cool outfits. Run fog and blow them out. It would be quite the blowout. Yeah, we had someone dress up as a cleric. I was just in a kilt. We had some people just dress up in like standard Ren Fair clothing, which was really cool too. Double ink moth. Oh, that's perfect.
<laughs> you didn't go to avoid bumping in there. I don't know, man. I still think it's worth going. Let's go get ourselves a swamp. Does Inflect play Bale? I feel like they would, right? It seems like a sweet protection card. They're gonna force us? It's so freaking rude. Another distortion strike on top, so we'll take this. Engineer. Mm, Foundry's not as useful because they've got a lot of interaction that way. We can go get. Yeah, we can go get Ensnaring Bridge, right? And then next turn, Scalding Tarn, run out Urza, tap the thing, the token. Yeah, let's do that. Yep. Yeah. Bridge seems right. We should be able to power it out, Lucid. Luckily, they're only doing one spell a turn. They're gonna five us this turn. No, we can't empty our hand, but we can get pretty close. Or actually, we can just, uh, we can just bring back Pithing Needle right now. One Urza activation. Ah, uh, they have nothing we need to worry about. I probably should have cracked that after we swung to get an extra point of damage. That was a mistake. Oh, I had a fatal push. This is so great. towards death? I don't think so. Five, six, seven. So we'll kill them next turn. I 
and we have two interactions if for some reason they get something, but I don't think there's a way they can win. Like They either have to like get an artifact disruption spell to stop our pyrite, or, I mean, uh, our pithing needle, um, or they play a creature and we just kill it. So. Two O four O, baby. Online turn three. Mm -mm -mm. So good. such a bad habit i don't know if it's a good thing or not but i never like crack bobble going into their turn i always like wait because i always just like don't want to get my hand ripped apart if it's something that i would draw and be useful yeah i mean i'm sure they would take engineer or final engineer no matter what but what if we draw like a second copy right Goodbye, Foundry. They've got a push. So whatever we get here, we're pretty much going to just need it in the graveyard. So let's just throw the sword in there. See if they want to do anything. That way we can still get value as long as we draw a foundry. Yep. Ooh, they're on a one-lander. Yeah, snappy snap. Oh, we're so good at this. We're like professionals, guys. Professionals. What are you going to do now? <laughs> I feel like they didn't get the land they look they're looking for. <laughs> oh, I feel so bad for them. Like, not really, but like, kinda. Alright. <laughs> uh, I'm sure they're on Shadow, so let's put in the Fatal Pushes. For sure. Do we want to bring in the Brutalities? I think we want to bring in the Thought Seasons, too. I think I want to bring in the Negate. I think that's it. I, I'm not sure if I want to bring in the Tezzerets. I don't think I want the Spell Bomb. Pithing Needle. Pyrite doesn't seem fantastic. Teferi is interesting. Bouncing like a Gormag Angler would be pretty funny. And then they wouldn't be able to do stuff in the middle of combat. I don't think we need the Icker Wellsprings. We might just do that. We totally ripped a foundry. <laughs> oh, we're pure savages. Oh. Um, mm -mm -mm. I think I want to try out the Tezzerets.
We're absolute savages. Of course we ripped it, you know? hand doesn't do anything. This hand's gonna struggle to do anything. <laughs> I want to keep this hand, but this, uh, I because really, I don't really want to go down lower, but this hand really doesn't do anything either. Right? Who doesn't main deck artifact hate nowadays, you know? Mistakes. Street Wraith. We've got a shadow coming. Mm -mm -mm. Well, we could really use a black source. source or a land third land would have been cool too hmm engineer you'll have to do so what are the odds that you get to stick around is it good is it bad well, I'm gonna send in the bridge. If it gets to stick around, we can stop them a little bit. We gotta empty out our hand still, but... I don't feel like this engineer is gonna live, but you never know. Sure, opponent. Rip our hand apart. Help us out. If we can rip a black source, we can run out the foundry and then bring back uh, bridge as well, which would be pretty sweet. So come on, land off the top. Preferably a black source. Come on, deck. You can do it. You can do it. Interestingly, by discarding the Foundry, they let us have the ability to get it back if they don't have a removal spell. Huh. Do we just bridge this turn? right okay it's a little awkward yeah they didn't play turn one uh, hand disruption it's kind of interesting I 
in a bit of an odd spot. We're gonna have to sacrifice that Mox to bring back the sword and go for the block, but then we won't have the other mana we need. What is the opponent thinking of? Hmm, that's rude. Okay, we're still not drawing lands. <sighs> so we can bring back the Foundry again and make one dude. Ugh. Pass it over. Lands would be pretty cool, deck. Pretty cool. sees us and which means we can make one dude go to five take four go to one That's not going to be enough. Uh, yep. We're dead. If we had some lands earlier, though, we would have got our engine going really well. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, maybe trimming too many of these is, is not good enough. Because if those uh, were extra draw spells, we could have been drawing cards and sacking them. That's some, uh, that's some big bias, obviously. Got a bunch of redraws. Mm -mm -mm. Pass it over. Street rates, do you got a bonnet? I got a 
Coligan's command coming along. Let's see if they correct their fetch and lose that Coligan's. all coming together. Inquisition. Bet you didn't see this coming. <laughs> we go bless them. They get nothing. This Urza. This foundry. <clears throat> In the foundry, the sword. I haven't played enough of this matchup in particular. I've only played this like once or twice. And uh, in the times I did beat them, uh, I pretty much just had, like, they, they had a hard time disrupting me because sort of the meat go into the graveyard and then I just ripped the foundry. Um, so if you think it's a good matchup, I'd probably believe you. Like I said, I'm, tr I'm still trying to get a lot of reps in with this deck um, because I played it at the MCQ before the banning. Um, was my first main time playing it and then other than that i've only been playing it at like fnms and i've been grinding a lot of leagues with it but i haven't taken it to a big tournament after that um i did play it at the mcq in uh gp indie and there i just the deck pretty much died to itself so i didn't really get to do enough testing with it What do we get? Another sword. I think they have removal. So we're going to try to seven them right now. Do they have a fatal push? You feel like your only chance against me is surgical and friends? That's a snappy boy.
So we die if they have a battle rage. So I think we're required to block here. However, if they, they didn't have the battle rage and they had like a push, we're kind of screwed. We got two unknown cards in hand. I actually went against the uh, Living End deck recently. It was kind of funny. Well, we can't really swing. I went against it in a GP, um, a GP Indy in um, both the main event and in the uh, side event. The uh, the one in the side event was pretty much the stock list, but the one in the main event was pretty interesting. They had uh, Bloodbraid Elves, they had the um, Season Pyromancers. Um, really interesting build. I don't know if I like it is the problem. Um, on uh, in paper, I played against it in paper twice, um, and yeah, I don't know. I, I had mixed feelings about it because like, what ended up costing him the game was his blood right off. Uh, you know, should have hit a relevant spell, but instead went into a Simeon Spirit Guide, and then I just beat them because of that. So we have to block, and they can fetch shock though, so we have to block the big boy. That's really unfortunate. If they want to kill our construct though, they have to fetch shock. I don't think they were on the four Fairy Macabs in the main, at least. I think there was only two. All right, we need a payoff spell right now. I don't even know what payoff spell we could use right now. Thopter Foundry, unfortunately, is not it. With that pesky Plague Engineer. They're going to stub it anyway. Okay, well... We're dead. And I think there's some new things you can play around with if you want to play Living In. I don't think it's a bad call to be on it right now. As long as your burn matchup is fine. I think that you ran, like, what, Brindlebore? They were not on the Electro version. Uh, there was it looked like pretty much uh, looked very close to a stock Jun version, um, other than the fact that they were running the Blood Braids and the Season Pyromancers. It might be a good matchup. I don't know. I mean, we gotta get more games in against it to figure out if it is a good matchup or not. I never, like, I don't pay as much attention to that kind of stuff uh, until I get enough testing in. Is that not a card they play anymore? I love that card. Looks like we're running against Jund here. We've got all the lands in the world. I think the sword in the graveyard. Professionals. We're so good at this game. Let's 
still need to get another artifact, but not bad. Maybe I should have held on to that for a, a plague engineer in the main. Yeah, it was always I always saw it as like a two of in the side for all those burn matchups. Gaining such an insane amount of life, being able to just like run it out there, block, sack, gain life, bring it back, block, sack, gain life again. A main deck pillage? Oh, we're going against a red green pile of some sort. I thought this was Jund. Oh man. Who plays pillage? <laughs> We get to return our sword too, which is sweet. Yeah, my friend Kyle is a really big fan of uh, of living in. Like that was his deck. Okay, well, that's a soul mox, so we're gonna attempt to combo off here. I feel like we must be going against a red-green mid-range deck. It might be Ponza, but I'm not 100%. I don't think Ponza plays Hex Drinker right now. And they play Goyf, which is really not in the Ponza list. So I'm just going to bring in some Disruption, some Removal for the low-end still creatures. Let's bring in a Negate as well if they're going to be on crazy things. I don't know if we want to bring in the trophies. Um, I think I'm gonna cut the travelers here. Pithing needle, spell bomb. It feels like we're gonna be grinding in this matchup. Bridge should slow them down, but they're gonna be blowing up a lot of our stoves. From one star. One mox, because they're going to be blowing up so much stuff. One more. Let's try that. Yeah, this is a, a hot pile we're going against. We are going against Gygax, so. This hand's kind of awkward. We can't cast Engineer until we get an Artifact or the Fatal Push, but we've got the Negate. If we get any Artifact, our hand kind of turns online. Uh, it doesn't seem great, even then. All right, this seems better. We'll pitch the Spire. It's not generating any relevant mana right now. Oh, they're on Naya! What is going on? Oh, what are we going against? What are the, I hope this is like Naya lightsaber. Alright, uh, we can't Galf Blast that, unfortunately. Oh, this is like Naya lightsaber. <laughs> it's got the nobles and everything.
Oh, we're gonna take a good beating. I swear, if they drop a Bane Slayer Angel, I'm gonna I'm gonna lose my mind. Do we just run up the Urza here? We could run out Teferi and make a 5-5 five, five to block for one turn. That doesn't sound bad. Drop a Bane Slayer Angel. Do it. Do it. Be the real Nia lightsaber. Are they gonna pillage our pirate? Yeah, they are. Oh my gosh. That's so rude. We can were for. Yeah, we can whir for our Thopter Foundry, but we're not going to, to activate it. So I think because of that, we're just going to run out Urza, make a blocker, and we'll pass. Another pillage. How incredibly rude. Okay, um, I think what we're gonna do is just filter this into red, and we're gonna Gal Blast their Noble just to take them off any mana they may have, and then we're just gonna go for the combo on our turn. Oh, we don't. We can't go for the combo. Oh no, we can. I'm, I'm, I'm losing my mind. Thought we didn't have any mana, uh, anything to sacrifice. Yield. Yes. Yes. We're so good. I almost thought we didn't have it for a second. Interesting enough hand to keep. Going against taxes, most likely.
Well, we'll see if our combo is good enough to stop them. What am I going to play for SCG Indy? Um, I'm still pretty big on um, either Shift or this deck. I don't really know with it being like a couple more weeks out. Uh, I want to give myself as much playtest time as possible to figure it out, but... As of right now, it's probably one of those two decks. Uh, I should probably try to play a Tron deck, because, you know, I love Tron, but uh, I just for some reason don't feel great with it in this meta, with so much freaking, um, with so much burn running around still. Like, I don't know, I hate losing to it. There's a lot of people that have been playing, like, versions of it that allow you to, um, Different versions of it that allow you to, you know, play main, uh, like main deck Thrag Tusk and everything, but I don't know. Don't know if that's where I want to be. I think GP Gunt was the last big event before SCG Indy, right? Is this actually Martyr? Blue. Black, white Martyr? I don't even know. Yeah, black, white Martyr. Okay. Yeah, so if I had to say three def uh, out of the three decks, it'd probably be between Tron, Shift, and Urza here. If I can find a list that I like playing with Urza, it's definitely going to be Urza. Um, otherwise, yeah. Other than that, I don't, I don't really know. What are your guys' thoughts on decks that I should be playing right now? And tell you what, no matter what I play, I'm very happy with this meta. Compared to the Hogak nonsense. Ascendant and Sorin. Return a creature to your hand, destroy a target creature, and you lose life. Return one. Okay. I think we're still going to name Martyr of Sands. Soon as I learn how to spell. It's, it's a pretty good charm, I gotta say. Is there anything we should be worrying up? So at this rate, we're just going to win.
Archangel of Avison. What? Opponent's got the spiciest of brews. I thought the uh, rug pile on the Switch Gaming site was with uh, Oko, and that card's not available yet. Expecting a lot of hate. So let's bring in the thought seizes and the trophies. I think we need to bring in the fatal pushes as well. We don't want to get just blown over. Um <laughs> Yeah, the card is pretty sweet. I'm not against playing that pile when it becomes available, but I gotta tell you, every time we play one of your rug piles, I do terrible with it. <laughs> I do not know how you ever managed to navigate with that deck. I'm always like, this, that doesn't do anything. <laughs> I'm gonna keep this because I'm a savage. I think we're gonna hit a land. What's the higher chance? I'm gonna bobble. Two draws, come on. Yeah, we got there. I am a believer, to be fair. Like, I believe in things that happen that shouldn't happen, such as you playing a rug pile and crushing people. I'll never understand it, but it happens. And I do believe, man. Like, I'm a Tron player. I believe in the top of my deck more than anything else, along with this deck or, or Shift, right? Like, I do absurd uh, finds with it. <laughs> Ooh, we have exactly enough for them not to have that activated. We are very lucky. <laughs>
please don't play Tron. I respect you. <laughs> I played my fair bit of Tron. We're not playing it tonight. Get rid of one of our Thopters and we'll go to four. I gotta go with the infinite life and infinite Thopters. Are they going to charm this in response right now? Well, that's a rather rude opponent. be rude like that nobody gets to attack anything the sword because we're just that good. Sure, you get a ranger captain. Kami of false hope, what is this? That's some hot tech. Do we have a bridge? I can never... Yes, we have a bridge in play. That is why we're not dead. Yep, you're right, Lucid. We're in the fog meta, for real. Hmm. I can trophy one Ascendant. That'll be good. Then we need to either get another Golf Blast or another trophy. Oh, 
<laughs> Winds of Abandoned Overload. Okay, okay. Um, I'm not sure that's actually good for them, because we get all the lanes out of our deck. And by that, I mean four. I think I'm just going to keep making tokens for now until we find a good opportunity to swing. We could swing and see if they take the bait. Right, like swing just here, they block it, we galve blast it, Assassin's Trophy the other one. Damage, Galve Blast, yeah, yeah, threats eliminated. Now we're on a couple turns, just a couple turns. I was not supposed to do that. I'm dumb. I was supposed to swing first. My bad. I just added an extra turn to our clock. That's unfortunate. I don't really know what they can do to stop us at this point. Like, it's just a matter of time of, of us overloading the board with enough creatures to um, just alpha swing, but they might have something to stop us.
They can definitely stonewall us. They have, what, one more ascendant in their graveyard? I mean, their deck, and then they have a murder. Uh, uh, uh. Sure. Inventor's fair will be nice. We can go fetch up something. <clears throat> so we have to act as though they have an insane amount of like 56, 58 life plus martyr life. Oh man. Engineer is great. I'm gonna start looping some stuff, I think. Hmm, looks like we're just gonna be going for got a gal boss. I think we're just gonna pitch in the pithing needle. We can bring that back. We didn't bring in Tezra. Yeah, we'll definitely be pithing needle for that martyr. Seven right now. 
two more turn cycles and we got them. Thank you for the follow, Epic Death. blown away you can't do auto yes for sword What's really awkward is that Kami can stop one of our attacks. Nothing left for us to fetch. We're running out of clock, honestly. Gonna try to draw a card. <clears throat> Where? Okay. I think we only have one needle in our 75, right? Or do we have two? Yeah, I'm only on one needle. We swing all out with our flyers, they'll block and burn their Kami, and then we can kill them the following turn.
This is the part that sucks because we have uh, infinite combo in play, but we don't have enough mana and time. I mean, we don't have enough time to run it through it. So, in paper, we would have won the game at this moment. Okay, opponent concedes. That's awesome. Woo! Not bad. Ended that 4 1. Pretty happy with that. And the recording.